The reason? This is the last Sunday in the month of November. The 11th month in the year 2022. How many of us would like to shout a powerful hallelujah to God? Raise your hand. Yes. You are the one that will decide how you do that. The first one, three. You want to jump up? You want to shout? You want to run around? You want to do it. Brethren, I've always known that. This is your father's house. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You have nothing to fear. God is worthy to be praised upon your life. Brethren, you are the one standing, not your duplicate. Not your duplicate. You are the one standing against all odds. Against all odds. I know you want to pray. Therefore, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Amen. May we be seated. We want to pray. That is the first assignment. Hallelujah. We want to pray one special prayer today. And that is, we want to ask for the grace to trust God with our whole life. Grace to do what? Grace to trust God with our whole life. I want us to open to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 3. Daniel 3 and verse 28. Daniel 3 28. The Bible says, then Nebuchadnezzar speak and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel and delivered his servant who do what? That trusted in him and have changed the king's world and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. You know that uh, that testimony that we have read there could have been good if it had been a testimony from Shadrach or Meshach or an Abednego. Isn't that? Yeah. But I'm telling you that that testimony became so significant because it was actually coming from a Gentile pagan king giving a testimony of children of God who trusted God with their whole life not minding the, the, the punishment of a fiery furnace that was presented unto them they trusted God whether they were alive or dead is that the way you trust God? So, Jesus actually came to that so that men may see reasons. Their inner eyes may be opened to know that the original intention of God was that man would be able to trust in him before their lives with no exemption. And that is when, it is only when man can trust God with his entire life, whole life, that we can also enjoy the best of God. We are struggling because there are portions of our life that we are cutting back. <laughs> Remember, God asked to ask Abraham, Abraham, walk before me and be, and be perfect. And I tell you, God did not will himself out unto Abraham until God has got Abraham to the point that Abraham did not get, is not caught any, anything else back. He gave everything to God. May you get to the point in your life that you are going to give 
all to God in the name of Jesus. God wants to bless us. There are levels of blessing. Eternal blessing is planned purpose for your life. goes to be fully realized when we actually come to the point that we, we submit all. Submit all. Hallelujah. And that is why I want to begin that prayer. I want us to say, Father, I bless you because of your plan and purpose. Brethren, let us be upstanding. As we begin to pray, we are not going to spend uh, much time. Be upstanding. Today is Sunday, last Sunday in, in November. Stand strong. You want to pray to your Father. You are not paying to pray. You are not paying to speak to God. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. I quickly read that. So we pray. I beseech you brethren therefore. That by the mercies of God. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy acceptable unto God. Which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this word. But be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is good. And acceptable. And perfect will of God. I quickly say, brethren, that you cannot present your body to God without having presented first your mind. Say, my father. I cannot hear you, brethren. My father, help me to present my entire life unto you a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. Open your mind. It's on the screen. Let us pray. Father, help me to present my entire life unto you a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you. Brethren, this is a daily prayer. Pray it for the help of God that you may present your body, your entire life unto him, a, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I want to say, Father, strengthen me not to conform to this word. Father, strengthen me not to conform to this word, but to be transformed by the renewing of my mind, by daily renewing my mind, that I may be able to prove what is that good? What is that acceptable? What is that perfect will of you for me? In the mighty name of the prayer is put on the screen. They say they are serious prayers, brethren. That is the prayer we have to pray. The Father strengthen me not to be conformers. There are a lot of conformers. Many people started well at a point in their life, in their journey with God, they started to become weak. They conform. Many people started so well towards the tail end. They started to conform. I want to have Father strengthen me not to conform. It doesn't matter the challenges and temptation that I will have to go through. Strengthen me not to conform to this world. But to be transformed by daily, by daily renewing my mind by your word, by your prayers, by renewing of my mind that I may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect we, that you have for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, I'd like to quickly remind you as we go on that you are not of the world. If indeed genuinely you have, you have submitted your life to the hand of Jesus Christ, you have accepted him as your love and savior, you are not of this world. You are passing, you are passing through. Let that become, let that continue to ring. I am not of this world. I am not. So Luke 10, 27 will say, and he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Are you listening to that? that? Luke 10, 27. He answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and then your neighbor 
as yourself, I want to say I receive grace to love you, Father, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength, and with all my mind in the name of Jesus. That is what God demands from you to trust him with all your life. That is the, what Jesus said. That is the first commandment. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. Say, Father, I receive grace to so love you. I cannot hear you speaking. Brother, I cannot hear you pray. God wants you to hear him. No, don't let it always be that when we want to pray that God should give us money. That is when we shout. This is a prayer. A prayer at the heart of God. Father, help me to love you with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my strength, with all my mind, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. <laughs> something, happened in, something happened in John chapter 21, verse 15. Jesus, after, resurrect, after he had resurrected, came around with disciples. And then he was, they were, they were eating together. He was the one that initiated that uh, gathering. And then as they were dying, you know what Jesus Christ said? Jesus Christ said to Simon Peter, said, Simon, son of Jonas, loved me thou more than this? I don't know whether we have taken time to pay attention to the word this. What are the this? That Jesus was asking Simon to love him more than. What are the this? Don't love me thou more than this. And you see the answer of uh, Simon Peter. Yes, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. And remember, he said, feed my lamb. Jesus Christ asked that question. How many times? In fact, the third time Peter became wrong. Ah, you know that but Jesus Christ knew what he was asking for. What are these? In your life, that God is speaking to you this morning. Love at me more than this. Hey, Father, help me to love you more than money, more than pleasure, more than glory, more than riches of this world, or anything that the world can offer me. Help me to love you more. Jesus is asking, love me thou more than this? Do you love God more than your wealth? Do you love God more than your achievements? Do you love God more than fashion? Do you love God more than the position you have attained? Do you love God more than money? Do you love God more than this war? The Father, help me. To love you more, more than money. Help me to love you more than pleasure. Open your mouth, brethren. Let us pray. This is the demand of God from us. Love me more. Help me to love you more than pleasure, more than glory, more than riches and wealth of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us we like to we like to go to party and leave God. God is demanding your attention. You prefer to go and enjoy yourself. Love fed me thou more than this. Help me to love you more. In the mighty name of Jesus. That I may please you in all my ways. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Prayer number 5, Matthew 15, chapter 8. Uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. The Bible says, These people draw it nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. But what? But their heart is far from me. Is that your case? You honor God. You honor you are the men pleasers. You honor God that people may see you. But your heart is far away. God is saying, God knows. I have to tell you now, God knows that that is what you do. I want to say, my father, help me to love you with all my heart. In the name of Jesus, help me to love you with all my heart. Open your mouth, father, brethren. 
Help me, Father, to love you with all my heart. This morning as you are standing in church, do you love God with all your heart? Do you really love God with all your heart? Say, Father, help me. You need the help of God, brethren. That is the truth. With, by your power, you can love God with all your heart. You need his help. You need his strength. You need his grace. You are trying. You are making effort. But your effort cannot make you achieve it. Say, Father, help me to love you with all my heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, to, 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 to love you and trust you with all my heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We are going to go to prayer number 8 and end there. The book of Psalm 20, verse 7. The Bible says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of our God. Say, Father, some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But I will remember your name and trust you all the days of my life. Say, Father, some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But I will remember your name and trust you all the days of my life. Are you praying, brethren? I will remember you. I will trust you with, all, with my heart all the days of my life. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But I will remember your name continually. And I will trust you with all my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Bible says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added. Seek ye first. As you have prayed the grace to trust God with all your life to come upon you in the name of Jesus. There's so many people who go, who, who go to different churches now just to please men. They go there with an hypocritical mind. From today, that shall not be your portion. You shall serve God and trust him with all your heart in the name of Jesus. And as you trust God, the blessings that you follow those who trust God shall become your portion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. We are still praying. And this time we'll be interceding for two families, the Jesu Lanos and the Jemios. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 10, the Amplified Version says that be devoted to one another in authentic brotherly love. I'll do one another in showing honor. I don't know what we can do to demonstrate uh, our love better than prayers. I'm going to this morning be praying for our brethren. I'm going to thank God for their life and say, Oh Lord. We thank you for the families of Jesus, Lanos, and Jemios. Thank you for being their source of love and good gift of life. Lord, let us appreciate God for their lives for these two families. They thank God. They say thank you, Lord, for keeping them alive and strengthening them. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord, for these two families, Lord, that you established, Lord, in your church, in the church of God. Father, we bless your name. We give all the praises, Lord. Hallelujah. We adore you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray. I say, Father, we ask that you bless their going out and they are coming in. In the name of Jesus, bless all righteous ventures that they lay their hands upon in the name of Jesus. Lord, we command your blessing upon these two families in the name of Jesus. That whatever they lay their hands upon in righteousness, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, it shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus. We ask that you bless their going out and their coming in the name of Jesus of everyone that belongs, Lord, to these two families in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship and glorify your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray that, Father, the dry bones in the lives of our brethren that are supposed to be alive to, so as to shift them forward. 
let the breath of the Lord come upon them in the name of Jesus we command every dry bone in their life to come alive in the name of Jesus Lord we ask for the breath of the Lord upon them in the mighty name of Jesus the life will come unto them every dry bone in the name of Jesus we declare upon you the breath of the Lord in the lives of religious families in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus we ask for your breath that they come alive Lord and they move forward in life in the name of Jesus Lord we bless you we thank you for answering our prayers for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed we are going to declare upon these two families that their days shall be in good health and happiness shall be their companion in the name of Jesus we are going to pray we are going to plead the blood of Jesus upon every member of the Jesus Lanos and the Jeremy families in the name of Jesus they shall spend their days in good health and happiness shall always be their companion in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus they shall spend their days in good health and happiness Lord will be their companion always in the name of Jesus we pray the blood of Jesus upon them as a seal upon their life in the name of Jesus for divine protection and preservation in the name of Jesus father we thank you Lord in Jesus mighty name we have prayed and last we are going to pray the father in all ramifications of life strengthen them on all sides in the name of Jesus strengthen them physically strengthen them spiritually financially and earthwise Lord they shall be strengthened of you in the name of Jesus in every aspect of their life they shall receive strength from the Lord they shall experience the grace of the Almighty upon the families Lord of Jesus Lanos and Jemios they shall experience your faithfulness all day round, all year long round, all the days of their lives in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus for answering our prayers in Jesus mighty name we have prayed and we declare the name of the Father that our prayers are answered in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed praise the living Jesus it is time to read the word of God and our Bible reading for this glorious service shall be taken from the book of John chapter 5 John chapter 5 verses 1 to 9 it is always advisable we open our hard copies because technology may fail us John 5 1 to 9 if you are there shout hallelujah some are not there yet John 5 1 to 9. I read from here to the glory of God Almighty. Verse 1. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in, in the Hebrew tongue Bethsda, having five porches. Verse 3. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, without waiting for the moving of the water. Verse 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Verse 5, and a certain man was there, which had an infirmity, thirty and eight years. Verse 6, when Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had, he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Verse 8, Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. The last verse, verse 9. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Praise the name of the Lord.
we have few announcements to pass across to the people of God. But before then, it's always good to warm ourselves up. It's been a week now that we saw some faces. It's been a week that some of us met with one another. So if you are excited to be in the house of God this morning, simple thing, just tell the person how good, how God has been to you this past week. Tell your neighbor, Oluwada me. simple thing. It's a way of greeting the person. Except you don't have that testimony. God is good to me. Tell someone, God is good to me. God is good to me. Praise the living Jesus. I do not know whether you are aware that we are privileged this morning to have some wonderful people in the house of God. Praise the Lord. There are some people whom God has designated to be here this morning for their own portion of blessing. And those people are worshiping with us for the very first time in this sanctuary. If you are the one, please, your hands up so that the church can show you some love. Praise the Lord. I ask you to be on your feet. The ushers will direct you to your special seats. God bless you, our brothers. Relax your mind. Whatever you have brought to his presence, you are receiving speedy answers in Jesus' name. We love to see you like the choir has sung. If you are passing by, a good time when you have this opportunity, we will be expecting you. But if you are resident in Ileife, this is your church. There is no doubt about that. People of God are ready to come around you and show you some love. And uh, we will inquire you to wait briefly after the service. Some people will come and minister to you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. We have the following announcement as a reminder to the church members and for the sake of our first timers. Our weekly uh, programs go this way. On Sundays like this, we have our worship service. Sunday school starts at 8 o'clock. By 7.30, we have a uh, workers' prayer meeting and uh, at 9, we begin the service proper. On Mondays, we have counseling. If you need to pour out your mind to the pastor, to the people of God, if you don't share your problems, you suffer in silence. And it is a sin when you suffer in silence. The pastor will be available on Sunday, 5 p.m. to attend to your needs. Counseling day is not after service on Sundays. Then on Wednesday, we have midweek prayer meeting. And for this week, our prayer focus, uh, number one, I receive liberty to, say, to serve the Lord. Number two, Father, give us outstanding miracles before this year ends. I believe we can say a better amen. amen. And lastly, on Wednesday, we shall be praying, O oh Lord, give us breakthrough in soul winning at Jesus Center on the road. Time is 5.30 p.m. On Thursday as well, it's for Bible study. And the theme for this week is preparation for a new year. Preparation for a new year. The 
text shall be taken from the book of Luke chapter 14 verses 28 to 35 and time again is 5.30 p.m. On Friday, ministers are expected to come around for their prayer. Time is 5 p.m. It is compulsory. So all ministers of God in the house, please note, on Friday, 5 p.m., you are expected to come around and pray. On Saturday, Jesus Center on the road shall be officially inaugurated. Praise the living Jesus. And the time is 10 a.m. Time is 10 a.m. On the road assembly shall be inaugurated on Saturday. Children's Summit 2022. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The theme is the Holy Spirit. And the venue is Jesus Center. Date is December 10th, 2022. All children should take note of this. December 10, 2022. The time is 10 a.m. There is a note here. This program is for children and teenagers. Parents, an appeal to you. You should please release your words and children for this program. The program is organized by our own sister, our dear sister Esther Ako. Can we appreciate her, please? Thank you. We are enjoyed to pass this information that the PFN Rotational State Crusade will hold at Enua Square, Ileife, on Thursday 1st and Friday 2nd, December. The date, I guess the date is not, okay, 1st and 2nd December 2022. Time is 4 p.m. We are advised to pray along for the success of this program and we have few copies of the hand bill which I believe you can have access to a copy at least. Watch over 2022 grand finale. The final watch. Thank you. I appreciate God if you want to do it. Thank, thank you. Watch over 2022 grand finale. The final watchtower program for the year 2022 comes up on Friday, 2nd December 2022. And it is tagged Flames of Fire. Flames of Fire. This is a program organized by Jesus Center Youth Family. Praise the Lord. The youth family is inviting all members of the church to join in the thorough and general cleaning of the church and its environment on Friday 9th and Saturday 10th of December 2022. Please, let us all keep it in mind and make ourselves available. I believe the message is clear. Then there is a reminder here. This is to remind all the members of Jesus Center Youth Family of your general youth family meeting scheduled to hold immediately after today's service. All the youth in the house, please, this information is for you. Men's Seminar Series, can we appreciate God by a clap of free. If you are a man in the house, clap. A solid man in the house, clap. Agree. You are not clapping. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The first edition of Men's Seminar Series is coming up on Saturday, December 10, 2022. Men are waking up. I, I thank God I'm a man. <laughs> The time is 10 a.m. Venue is Jesus Center Church Auditorium. And the theme is Handling Time of Peace and Crisis. Handling Time of Peace and Crisis. And ministry on that day is Pastor Dr. Shueton. It is very important for all men to plan towards attending and invite others. Come for this seminar then your home will be free of crisis. Amen. CIA Ministries presents Manifestation Season 3. Praise the Lord. The theme is Ye Atobiju. Praise the Almighty. Date is 3rd December 2022. And the time is 2 p.m. Who is the convener? Our own person. Evan Lady Evangelist 
Ura Ola Adebayo. Mrs. Adebayo, you want to present yourself to the church so that they can know you and pray for you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now it is time to give back to God. From that little you have, do not complain. There is an envelope designated for that purpose, for your offering. In case you need to pay your tithes, our mama is in the house. Mama Odeni Wale. So you can get your tight envelope from her. She's sitting in front. Praise the Lord. Have we packaged our offerings and tithes? Then you can present it to God. Wish yourself anything you want, you desire. Pray on the offering. So that as God accepts your offering, you shall not be a rejected offer, offering. The Lord must take your offering and accept you too. Pray that this week, your offering is going to be a seed that will germinate and produce in thousand folds. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. The ushers will guide us on how to go about it. And the choir will assist us in danceable uh, choruses so that we lay down our offerings in Jesus' name. Shall we rise to our feet as we drop our offerings? Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet as we worship our maker. Glory to God. been so wonderful to you this past week. There is something spectacular he has done in your life. The uncommon favor visited you and you want to share it with the people of God. 
The Bible says the, co- the uh, overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. You want to put the devil to shame. You have testimonies in the house. Let me see your hands. Okay. One, two, three, four. Anybody at the extension? Four. Yes, number one. Please come quickly. Pastor Lele should be warming up to pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I thank God for my life, for everything he has done for me throughout 